So I tune this in octaves, and I don't even know what note it's tuned to. Here, let me see. Tuned somewhere close to a B flat. Let's get a little weird here. All right, some of you guys have asked me to show off some of the guitars that I have behind me here in my music room. And I figured I'd pull one out that I've been wanting to show forever. It looks very basic, but this one is extremely special to me. This is a a, <laughs> a, a duct work guitar, all metal, that was made by one of my biggest musical influences ever, Glenn Kaiser. Now, Glenn Kaiser, if you don't know, Glenn Kaiser was a member of the Resurrection Band. They eventually shortened their name to Res Band. And they were one of the most popular Christian rock bands out there in the 70s and 80s. In fact, when it comes to Christian hard rock, a lot of people say Res Band invented it. Well, I was into Res Band back in 7th grade, you know, I was that young. And later on in life, whenever I was building cigar box guitars and getting into deep blues, I discovered that Glenn had put out a couple amazing blues albums with Daryl Mansfield. It's called Kaiser Mansfield. Look those up on YouTube. Incredible old gospel Delta blues. Well, Glenn Kaiser now is playing cigar box guitars and he's making them. And he made this one for me a couple years ago. Um, it's all just duct work. Or I don't even know if this is duct work or I think it may be roofing tin. Because where he lives, uh, he lives in a ministry in Chicago called Jesus People USA. And it's, it's a homeless shelter where they bring people in and they get them employed and back on their feet. And one of the things they do is I think they have like a roofing company um, that employs these, these folks. And Glenn was hanging out there one day as they were making metal roofing. And he built this for me. It's just a metal box with a metal pipe and two strings wired to some eye bolts. Now you got to use a screwdriver to get this thing in tune. And uh, for the bridge, it is two different bolts here. And Glenn's idea was you could change the string length for each string if you wanted to get into some weird uh, experimental playing. And I have yet to really dive into that because it sounds out of tune to most ears. So Glenn made this for me. And uh, imagine your greatest musical hero making you a guitar. That's how special this is to me. So this was inside the Cigar Box Guitar Museum at Spiels Tavern in New Alexandria, PA. Uh, it's been there for several years as part of the display. And recently I took it down along with a lot of other instruments because I like to change it up. And I brought this home and I'm playing it again. So I tune this in octaves and I don't even know what note it's tuned to. Here, let me see. Tuned somewhere close to a B flat. So there's a low B flat and a high B flat. And it's close, it's a little off. I almost treat this like a diddly bow sometimes where I'm playing both strings the whole time. Or I'll let one string drone out and I'll play leads on the other. You get that drone, you can do some R.L. Burnside. Well, see my jump along, hanging on that line. See my jump along, hanging on that line. I know by then, some of my mind. Wouldn't be 
here, baby. Hadn't been for you. Wouldn't be here, baby. Hadn't been for you. Where you give me love, love? Where you wanna? Where you wanna do? A little girl, let me go to bed. Fix my supper, girl. Let me go to bed. Ooh, all that white lightning has gone to my head. So there it is, the Glenn Kaiser metal guitar. If you're gonna ask me what my favorite Glenn Kaiser song is, I think it's this one right here. Shane Spiel, Shane Spiel, baby, you know how to keep it real. Shane Spiel, Shane Spiel, you know how to keep it real. Mm, I'm not Kenzel, living large. Just like on a Mississippi barge. <laughs> I love to play my song. Play his Kenjo all night long. Change feel, change feel. You know I keep it real. Change feel, change feel. Baby, keep on keeping it real. <laughs> 